Over the years, the medical experts have worked tirelessly to develop an effective vaccine to prevent malaria. One vaccine raises hopes that malaria can be tackled. Dr. Joe Cohen is advisor to the Malaria Vaccine Project with GlaxoSmithKline and one of the first researchers to work on, the, on developing the vaccine. The target group of the RTSS vaccine is specifically infants and children from the age of six weeks to the age of 17 months living in Africa in malaria endemic regions. Tell us about the, the very latest results that came out last year. Before I talk about the efficacy of mm -hmm. the vaccine, I'd like to put uh, that into the context there's been a lot of progress, uh, significant progress over the past five to ten years in preventing malaria. But still today, WHO estimates that there are more than 200 million cases of malaria every year. 650,000 children and infants who die every year from malaria, most of them in the African subcontinent. That's what we're trying to control, if you wish. Now, in terms of the e efficacy? The Phase 3 trial is ongoing in Africa. It started in 2009 and will finish around the end of 2014. In 2011 and in 2012, we published the first set of results, initial results from the Phase 3. And what these first two sets of results tell us is that the efficacy of the vaccine in the older age group, children 5 to 17 months of age, at the time when they received the first dose, is about 56%. Severe disease, it's about 47%. What is important to understand is these numbers actually translate into a public health impact uh, in the sense that in this, in this age group of 5 to 17 months, the efficacy of 56% translate into 1,500 cases of malaria prevented for every thousand child, children vaccinated over one year of period. In the infants, what we observed is that the vaccine efficacy is lower than in the uh, older age group. So in the infants, the efficacy is around 30, 31 percent. 30 to 31 percent among infants. It's, uh, it's something. Uh, but some critics say it's not good enough. We believe that 30% uh, uh, efficacy, if it translates into a public health outcome that is significant, is perfectly acceptable. Okay. And indeed, in this particular case, 30% efficacy translates into 750 cases averted mm -hmm. for every 1,000 children vaccinated when you follow them for a year. Okay. We think that that is very significant and this is one of the reasons why we continue this project. So how long is the immunity? Very good question and that's a question that we don't have sufficient time yet to okay. be able to uh, give a definitive uh, answer but we know that the efficacy of 30 percent in infants and 56 percent in uh, the older age group that's for a year, 12 months of follow-up. In previous studies that we've done, smaller studies, we've seen that there is a benefit of the vaccine for up to 40 to 42 months after vaccination. So after that, is there a need for a booster or what, what happens after that? We designed the phase three, the ongoing big clinical trial uh, that is uh, progressing in Africa, to have some of the children receive a boost after the first three doses that they receive uh, initially as the primary vaccination. All the kids have received those three doses at one month interval. And then 18 months after the third dose, some of the kids will receive or have received actually today a fourth dose of vaccine, a booster dose, okay. so that we will be able to tell whether a booster dose might be helpful in any way. It's not very often that a uh, scientist working on relatively basic science sees his or her work eventually potentially being a product that can save lives. So 
uh, that's uh, very fortunate that I have been able, with the entire team at GSK, to be involved in this uh, project. And that was Dr. Joe Cohen. The RTSS vaccine development is the result of a public-private partnership between JSK, the U.S. Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, PATH Malaria Vaccine Initiative, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and other partners. And that's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news and developments, be sure to visit our website, africahealthnetwork.com. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thanks a lot, Lenore. Be sure to watch for Lenore Mudu every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.